Hey Wirefly fans, this is Jeff Gregory and I'm here with a Wirefly cell phone smackdown between the Samsung Vibrant and the newly released My Touch 4G. Both are Android based phones running on the T-Mobile network. The Vibrant is running Android 2.1, the My Touch 4G Android 2.2. The Vibrant is due for an update, but we have not received any clear word on when that will happen. Um, both of them are very fast, very capable phones. Uh, the Vibrant is running a 1 gigahertz Hummingbird processor. The MyTouch 4G, a little bit faster, running a second generation 1 gigahertz Snapdragon processor. Uh, the Vibrant has 512 megabytes of RAM. MyTouch 4G, 768 megabytes of RAM. Um, so both very powerful, but the speed edge definitely goes to the MyTouch 4G. While moving on to display, the edge goes to the Vibrant. The Samsung Vibrant has the by now well-known Super AMOLED screen, which just provides a greater picture, better brightness, more clarity in darkness, and especially in sunlight. Um, and you can hopefully see here from the pictures on screen that uh, it's just much brighter and crisper. Um, and you just you can't get a better in, uh, picture on a screen except for maybe the current iPhone interface. The Super AMOLED is just beautiful to look at and, and a joy to uh, interact with. So now I've got the both phones open to Wirefly Learn, our Android phones page, for those who want to learn something. And um, just to give an example of what they look like in the browser and to remind everyone that one of the beauties of Android is the flash capability. Neither iPhone, neither iOS, the iPhone operating system, nor the Windows Phone 7 operating system are flash capable. Um, 2.1 has flash light, which will open that video. Froyo is fully flash enabled, so watch this. You can watch video embedded as you browse the web. Now both of these phones also have a capability called um, screen share, uh, which means that you can wirelessly transmit whatever you're watching on your phone to a DLNA capable device. Uh, DLNA, DLNA capable devices include um, many TVs that are coming out nowadays, uh, newly released TVs, HD TVs, as well as um, uh, PlayStation 3, um, Xbox, and I believe Wii. So, if you're standing here, sitting at your home and you're watching this cool video and you know what, you want to watch it on your TV and you've got this, both your uh, PlayStation and your, or your Xbox hooked up to the wireless network, at home, you just tap this button and boom, beam with screen share and this will wirelessly transmit whatever you're watching to the media of, of your choice. Um, in addition, you see here, you can transfer, play music, whatever photos, if you want to look at a photo album on your TV, or if you want to watch videos stored on your phone. Very, very cool functionality. Both of these phones have that. Not a lot of phones do these days. Um, other key difference between these phones besides uh, screen resolution would be just some of the various features. Um, my Touch 4G, as is popularly known, comes with a front-facing camera, a very functional front-facing camera, which we demoed in the My Touch, the part two of the My Touch 4G review, which we can, which you can check out on our Wirefly channel. The Samsung Vibrant does not have a front-facing video camera. Um, the My Touch 4G is also a hotspot capable. Samsung Vibrant is not. The My Touch 4G has Wi-Fi calling, which. You can show you setting. Other than that, these phones are fairly similar. Um, the other key difference would be that the MyTouch 4G is HSPA Plus cap capable, uh, whereas the T-Mobile still runs, the Samsung Vibrant still runs on the uh, HSPA network. So this phone is capable of 3G speeds. This phone capable of the higher end blazing 4G speeds, which can average up to six megabits per second. Um, some have reported upwards of 9 or 10. Um, they both are, have come with a, about the same camera, 5 megapixels, and 720p video, HD quality video, storage space out of the box, very similar. Uh, this one has, the MyTouch 4G has 12, 4 internal, 8 on a micro SD card. This one has 16 on board and will support up to 32 gigabytes with a micro SD card. Um, both, again, being Android phones, the applications 
There is very little difference in terms of the functionality. You can get the same applications that you can on any other Android phone. Um, the this the the Vibrant does have one additional feature with its 3.5 millimeter headset jack. You can also use that for a TV out in case you don't have a TV or device that is DLNA capable. So any media that you have stored on your phone, you can via cable get to your television device, which is also a nice feature. Um, but just to give you an idea of the visual experience from this, we'll go ahead and load Avatar, which came with the uh, original version of the Samsung Vibrant and versus the media room here. Let's see, video. Uh, there's another key feature. Um, My Touch 4G, FM radio capable, Samsung Vibrant is not. And that's about it for this SmackDown. If you have anything else you want me to compare about these phones, let me know and we'll absolutely do it in the next one. Thanks for watching, Wirefly fans. See you next time. We'll